Hey everyone, Pushing Up Roses here, attempting my first Let's Play. Uh, today I'm going to be playing Quest for Glory 1, So You Want to Be a Hero. Now, I've played these games a long time ago, but I remember little to nothing about them, so hopefully it'll be a fun time. Joining me is the guy who persuaded me to do these LPs in the first place is Pa from That Guy with the Glasses. Persuaded? Yeah. No, I, 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 it was a gentle reminder saying, hey, you've always wanted to do a Let's Play. You should like totally do one. I was very supportive and not coerce you in any way. I'm pretty sure you kept bugging me with, you really have to play these games. You really have to play these games. Well, I did, but I mean, you, you don't have to put it in such a negative light. Persuaded is not a negative light. Okay, it, it doesn't matter. You convinced me. How about that? You convinced me that replaying these games would be a good time. I can live with that. Okay, good. So are, are you ready to play? I'm totally ready to play. I haven't now played this game in a while. You've played these games before, though, right? Oh, yes. Many times. Okay. So let's. So try not to uh, give me too many hints or spoilers. Throw the chop. Throw the chop. And no one's going to get that reference. But if somebody does get that reference, cookie for them. A very so sad, that. lonely cookie. <laughs> let's, uh, let's start this up. Okay. Okay, that's good. Um, now, should I do the introduction? Um, yeah, let's see the introduction. Actually, before before I kill everyone's eardrum, oh, it's not going to let me change the the volume. Oh well, let's let's just see. I don't remember anything about the introduction. Is there like a? I can't remember. If there's actually a story or not. This is the very first game in a series, so I don't think much has been laid out. So it's probably just opening credits or something. Yeah, I, I think this is a game where the story is told as you're playing it, so there's not really a big introduction. Well, there's five games in this series, and I know there's actually a pretty deep lore kind of built up as you go. But I think the first game, if I remember, really just kind of drops you in the middle. It's like, good luck! Let us know how <laughs> it turns out. Now, Quest for Glory 5 was the first one I played. So I was very confused on all the characters, because I know the storyline is, is very consistent. Well, not consistent. I don't know if that's the word, but that's, that's a good uh, I know they all link together. So I was very confused when I was playing 5. I had no idea who anybody was, and I uh, didn't know that they were all reoccurring characters. A ton of recurring characters. Yeah, I didn't know that. I think I would have enjoyed it a lot more if I knew. Okay, these are just credits. Uh, we can skip that. Okay. Um, uh, now, the big choice. So we have our fighter who does everything with brute force and doesn't really think about anything. His, his answer to everything is pretty much just to whack it over the head with a sword. I like that. Uh, the magic user uh, will not use his brawn, but his brains only. Like, pretty much physical altercation is out of the question, even though he's all buff. Look at him. Look at those pecs. And then oh, the thief yeah. is my preferred method, because the thief is kind of a balance between the two. He can do a little bit of fighting uh, if you want. I think you can actually have him do a little bit of magic, but he has the coolest side quest because you can join the Thieves Guild and you can, well, I don't know. I think the Thief has the more interesting Rob method. People. You can sneak yeah. into people's houses, but I think the Thief I has like the that. most in interesting uh, methods of solving problems. Well, I was the, I was the Thief in 5, so let's, uh, let's just go with the Thief. Cool. Because I like breaking into people's homes. All right, now okay. another very important uh, choice. I have to give him a name? You have to give him a name. That's different. Uh, normally Sierra games give their characters names already. Uh, let's think of something brilliant here. Well, this one is kind of a mix between an old school adventure game and an RPG. It was kind of groundbreaking that way. Yeah, I see that. I'm confused. Okay. Um, it's easy. I'll walk you through it. Just get this big name. Uh, well, uh, let's name him Rico. Rico? Oh, How about I like that. Rico Suave? No, just Rico. Just Rico? Just Rico, yeah. He looks like a Rico. Look at him. Rico, try to understand. Sorry, no oh. effects song. It's a no effects song. I like it. <laughs> okay, so his name is Rico, and now he's, he's a thief. Okay, so we have our strength. Intelligence and agility. Uh, strength, of course, is the easy stuff, just brute force, which we don't okay. need too, too much of. It doesn't help to have a little bit of it because we will have to do a little bit of fighting, I'm sure. I mean, can I make my character like a really strong thief? Because that's kind of what I want to do. 
You can do that. I remember doing that before. I mean, literally, by the time this game is over, if we're playing it right, all these stats are going to be maxed out. And I'm intelligent men. I want to make him smart. You just have a thing for blonde men. <sighs> but the cool thing is that all these stats, everything that you do, can be carried over into the next game too, and all subsequent games, all the way through. That is five. really cool. That's really cool. I didn't know that going into five. Uh, can you? Is is that the same for five? Can you carry your character into five? Because that was kind of a separate entity. No, from because. The rest um, of- Nope, I think you can do that because I played the entire series front to back, one, two, three, four, and I don't think I finished five using the same character over the course of like a month. I have that kind of time on my hands. But anyway, um, agility, of course, is very thief-like. Vitality is your is your health points. Oh, let me. Um, I'm going to give him more vitality. Vitality is good. Yeah. Uh, maybe one more. Um, as much as you find necessary. Magic we That's don't really need That's because fine. we're we're thieves and we're awesome. One more. Um, that's, um. What about Perry? That don't I don't have know. Any that's. I'm not really sure what good that must be like some kind of defensive thing, but thieves are meant to dodge stuff anyway. Okay, so I'll just give him some dodge. Yeah. I'll give him one more dodge. Dodge. Um, I've got five more points. Um. Uh, let's do. Let's just put it throwing. back. <laughs> now, because we can actually like sort of grind these skills up by just, like, picking up rocks and, like, throwing them at trees and stuff. Damn it. Okay. Um, yeah, just give him another couple points in strength, and we should be good. Okay, great. Ta-da! What Excellent. a well-rounded character. It is. Let's rock this. Okay, now, before I do anything, I'm still going to turn down the volume. Or not. This seems like a quiet little town. On the porch ahead of you are two people. The standing one is large, rather ugly, and playing with a yo-yo. The seated person smoking a pipe looks like he might be the sheriff. The man with the pipe greets you. Hey, welcome to our town. You're likely to have made it down from the mountains before the snow black to pass again. It's gotten pretty dangerous outside of town, I understand. Many monsters have been trapped around here with the late snow. Between them and the brigands, we could certainly use a hero around here. Uh, what ethnicity are you exactly? He's Norwegian, Swedish, Scottish, Dan- Danish, Mish. I am Sheriff Schultz Meisterson. This is Otto von Goon, my assistant. What do you call yourself? I see you're suddenly German. Convenient. <laughs> <laughs> this is a town of many of ethnicities. I can change my name here. That's really, oh, really? cool. But Just in case you screw it up and don't want to call yourself Rico anymore. Now that's not a mistake. I want to call myself Rico. Good luck in the Chris Rico. Rico. Suave. <laughs> Suave. Oh, look at the goon. He's so happy. He is. Can we mess with him at all? You can't get that. No. Take yo-yo without a hyphen. I'm pretty sure he would try and beat your face in if he tried to take his yo-yo. He seems like that kind of guy. Talk to goon. Otto only expresses himself physically. Yeesh. Say. Just you might want like to keep me. our distance from him then. You know, mm-hmm. <laughs> Speaking of that, when do we get to the grinding? We will never get to the grinding. <laughs> you will never get to the grinding. <laughs> um, it's like a hair, a barber. You yeah, get that mop cut. Barber. Look at that thing. Note. Note. There's a sign on the door of the barber shop informing whoever reads it that the barber is out to lunch. The door is locked. Pick lock. Um, you're right next to the sheriff, dear. No, <laughs> stop. No, it's broad daylight. You've got to be kidding. He'd you're be the worst thief search. ever. <laughs> this was a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try and pick a lock in the middle of the day right next to the sheriff and his seven-foot-tall goon. He is not moving fast enough for me, so maybe faster animation. So impatient. Um, sound volume, play with that. I'm going to put it to 13. Even though I don't hear any music right now, hopefully there are sound effects later. Let's see. All right, if there's one thing I do remember, I think we do need to reserve ourselves a room at the inn, or at least eventually we do. Okay. You can do that but now. That's, that's where we say that's one of the few safe places we can stay the night. Ooh. It's here. With the kitty cat. Welcome, welcome, traveler, to the Hero's Tale Inn. I am Shamin, at your service. May you find what you seek here. It would also be awesome if you didn't have your cursor, like, right in front of the text box I'm trying to read. That would be really nice. 
you know what? Shut up. <laughs> I, I invited you here. Come on, rookie. <laughs> yeah, I'll turn this volume down a little bit more because there is music playing now. It's very, uh, the music in this game is actually quite nice. Another Seabrook creation, creation yeah, if I remember I'm, correctly. No, I'm just nitpicking. Let's do 12. 12 is good. Okay. Uh, talk Shabin. He seems like a nice guy. Very good food, very good drink, finest in town. See it, rest. You will be served by my Shima. What's a Shima? Um, that, that's, a, that's the thing about this game. You have to interrogate everybody, so they can like ask about this, ask about that. Ask about Shima. Yeah. Shima is my mate and the light of my life. If you sit down, she will be happy to serve you. Oh, really? Does that cost money? Is it like, was it like a table dance or something, or yeah. is she gonna? 